What's up you guys, it's your boy Avery here bringing you guys a brand new GOAT format deck profile. I know I covered my build a couple of months ago, probably even longer at this point, and I wanted to revisit it now that I've done my GOAT format retrospective, and I also wanted to thank you for giving that video so much love and support. I will be doing a Dragon Ruler one soon, like I said at the end of my Edison format one, but it's it's taking some time. I gotta make sure I do all my homework, do all the research, because I don't want to say anything that is just totally wrong that wasn't in that format. So be sure that you hit that like button and leave a comment down below so that I know that you're interested in that type of content. And uh, now that I have editing software, it's easier to make stuff like that and it's actually possible now at this point. So without any further ado, since we're still waiting for a ban list, let's have some fun looking at an old retro profile. All right, you guys, so we are here with the GOAT format retro deck profile from 2005. And I got to say, I've been having a lot of fun with this format, especially now that the Time Wizard formats are going to be coming around and people are going to be able to play old formats. It's going to be so much fun to be able to play against other people in GOAT format and to see how the format evolves as more and more people get into it. So this is my current build that has some changes with it from my previous build. Um, some things I do want to mention, keep in mind in 2005 we still had priority, which essentially makes Blackluster Soldier on Void the beginning have a quick effect. That's a really bare bones way of explaining it. I highly suggest that you do your own homework into it because it's, it's pretty in depth. Also, the extra deck back then was called the Fusion deck, so there is no limit to how many cards that you could play in your fusion deck. So I've got more than 15 cards here that I'm going to be going through. I will say though the main thing that you want to be playing is three copies of Thousand Eyes or Strict because of your metamorphosis with the scapegoat token. So just bear all that in mind because I do have some cards here that clearly aren't sleeved. So let's go ahead and dive into this build. We're playing two copies of Gravekeeper Spy. So this is a really good defensive card in this format. And if we get center here, and um, some people opted to play two, some opted to play three, some opted to play two along with a Gravekeeper's Guard because you can set the guard and then it has a compulsive effect, bounce a monster to the opponent's hand. So it's really good as a chump blocker. Um, it's a level four monster that you can metamorphosis off of. If you need a 1500 attack beat state instead of 1200, it gives you monster presence that you can tribute the second spy to bring out Jinzo, bring out Zayborg. You can tribute off both Fusilor Dragon have a 2800 beat stick. It's a dark type for BLS. Um, it's just a very versatile, very good card in this format. Um, and I'm opting to run it in this particular build. There's a lot of different ways to build goat format or to build goat control rather. Um, and so this is just some cards that I opted to run. You can also run Mystic Tomato, Air Knight Parsha, things like that. We are also playing two copies of Sukiyomi. Godsend card, amazing card. If you're not playing this card, I don't know why you're playing Goat Control. It's so good. Being able to reset your Magician of Faith, being able to reuse those good effects to be able to get pluses. So, so, so good. It, it's such an amazing card. Uh, we are also playing two copies of Moth, aka Magician of Faith. Flip it up, get a spell, and uh, proceed on with your day. Use Tsukiyomi to flip it down, flip it right back up. It's, it's, it's a good time all around. Uh, we're also playing one copy of Azura Priest. This is for the Mirror Match, um, you know, or any deck that wants to play Scapegoat Tokens. You just bam, 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 bam. Can attack all monsters once each. Really good time. Uh, and it's Spirit Monster, so it can bounce back to your hand. So if the opponent's not able to deal with it, they're going to have to deal with it on the next turn. And it's got 1,700 attack. We're also playing one copy of Spirit Reaper. This is really old text Spirit Reaper, where it says specifically designated as a target by a magic, trap, or monster card. It's uh, really old text. We still know what it does. Uh, you can set it and then flip it, and it's a chump blocker that can just save you a whole bunch of pain. Uh, unless it gets targeted, then it's going to get destroyed, which is not really anything in this format that targets, except for Snatch Steel, really, that you're going to worry about. We're also playing one copy of Blade Knight. If I'm able to get a second copy of Air Knight Parshat, then this will be Air Knight Parshat, but it's another good card. If you've got, uh, like, what is it, two or less cards in your hand, it becomes 1900. So yeah, really, really solid beat stick card, and it's a light for BLS. We're playing one copy of Breaker, because it was at one this format, and it can pop spells and traps, and it's really good. We're playing one copy of Jinzo signed by Joey Wheeler. I found this at a regional, believe it or not, was able to trade for it. It was a uh, good times back in the day. Yeah, Jinzo was at one in this format, and uh, it's it's busted. So, yeah, Judgment was at three in this format, so if they don't have a Judgment set, they're going to be locked out of traps. We're playing one copy of Air Knight Parshath, my beautiful, banged-up uh, rare. But, uh, yeah, Air Knight Parshath, um, really good 1900 beat stick. Whenever it flicks battle damage, you get a draw card, and it's a light for BLS, so you set Spy, they attack into it, flip it up, get out another Spy, draw for turn, tribute for the Power Shaft, you got a 1900 beat stick. Um, so yeah, it's really good card. Um, I'm considering playing Xerion Universe, depending on 
how the Time Wizard formats look in my area. If a lot of people are playing GOAT format and not playing Xerion, I probably won't be playing Xerion just because the Xerion builds are so different compared to like even with the Parshath builds. I mean, it's just, it's night and day. So do keep that in mind uh, when you are playing Go Control. We're playing one Fusler. Um, we're pretty much playing this just as a Metamorphosis target. Uh, you can summon it without tributing its stats or cut in half, Metamorphosis into a big monster. Um, that's really all you need to know. One BLS, because this is a win power card, it's so damn good. Being able to drop this and call priority and banish a monster before they can you know, do anything to you is just so, so good. We're playing one copy of Sangin because it's Sangin. One copy of Tribe because it's Tribe. A one copy of Morphing Jar because we like free cards. One copy of Sinister Serpent that's not errata because it never needed an errata and it's really good, especially when you have Graceful Charity. For the spells, we're playing three copies of Metamorphosis because I think that three is just the best way to go. I want to see this card ASAP because it's that good. Don't at me. <laughs> um, amazing card. So good. It's, it's just heart and soul of, of this deck. Uh, we're playing, this is actually two copies, they're the other copies in my Flunderies deck, but yeah, two copies of Book of Moon, um, if I can even find myself a copy here really quick, I, I, I probably can't, yeah, no, we tried, this, this just ain't happening, but yeah, no, two copies of Book of Moon, really good interruption, uh, you know, you can flip your Magician of Faith face down, I mean, it's just such a good versatile card. We're playing two copies of the card that everybody hates in GOAT format, Knock, Nolman Across Out, this card is so busted, it's so, so, so good. You know, being able to destroy face downs, get them out of the deck, just such a good versatile card. It's it's just amazing. We're also playing three copies of Scapegoat. It's it's goat format for a reason, y'all. You gotta be playing them goats. We're playing one copy of Delinquent Duo because I like ripping cards out of your hand. One pot, one copy of Pot of Greed because I want to confuse my opponent with uh, you know confusion like in Pokemon because uh, it's such a complicated card. <laughs> uh, one copy of Graceful Charity because this card's busted. One copy of Snatch Steel because this card's busted. One premature burial because this card is so busted. <laughs> like literally being able to revive a Parshath or revive a Jinzo. Like my favorite play is to go Graceful Charity and ditch like Sinister Serpent and Jinzo and then go Prima into the Jinzo and just watch my opponent cry. One copy of Heavy Storm and then one copy of MST because it was at one in this format. For the traps, we're playing one Torrential. This is Mirror Force. Um, I'm too lazy to try and find a Mirror Force and I actually don't think I own one. So we're playing one copy of Mirror Force. Uh, one copy of Dust Tornado, one copy of Ring of Destruction, the OG version that can cause ties, obviously, and one copy of Trap Dust Shoot because this card is so busted. Yes, it's not as good after turn one, um, but whenever you open up this in Delinquent Duo, it's really good because the opponent's going to be starting off with six cards since they're going second. You know, obviously that rule hasn't changed. You go Delinquent Duo, you hit two cards out, okay, now they're down to three, they draw for turn into four, you hit a third card out of their hand potentially with Trap Dust Shoot, and you get to see what they drew. It's so good. I was playing three, but it was really bricky at three, so I took out two copies and just threw in Dust Tornado. I wanted some more um, some more back row hate and a little bit more burn with the uh, Ring of Destruction. Alrighty, guys, and for the extra deck, we are playing three copies of Thousand Eyes Restrict, your playing Goat Control for a reason. One copy of Last Warrior, one copy of Gatling Dragon, one copy of Labyrinth Tank, Ryu Senshi, Dark Balter, the terrible Dark Balter, the Blade Knight, uh, Reaper on the Nightmare. You're really just playing a bunch of Metamorphosis targets. Um, as you can see, I'm not even saying their names because we just play three of every single fusion uh, in this format because that's, that's all we really care about. Um, you know, Flame Ghost is really good because if you have Sangin, you just go Metamorphosis, you go into Flame Ghost, has 100 more attack than Sangin, and then Sangin gets you a search. So, guys, that is my Goat Control Retro deck profile. No combos to show off here, no jump cuts to do um, because there's not really any combos in this format. It's a matter of War of Attrition and slowly but surely whittling down the opponent. So, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, rating, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.